KHTS three years ago. She became a champion for foodies everywhere, taking the internet by storm and capturing the hearts of meat lovers around the world. In a three-minute plea for the McRibs' triumphant return to the Santa Cruz Valley in front of city council members, Xanthi Pajarillo went viral, earning hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube, maybe even millions, who knows? She was dubbed McRib Girl, now she's returned in a more refined role. She's looking to launch a new venture, and she joins me in studio. How are you doing, Xanthi? I'm great. Thank you for that lovely intro. <laughs> I did my research. Have we earned millions of views on, uh, on YouTube collectively? Know, yeah, somebody op uploaded it to Facebook and it got like pretty high up there in the millions. Really? Yeah. You became like a late night talk show sensation too. I think Conan did something on the make rib. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I think so. I believe so. I think, uh, I think you should get some money from that. I don't know. That would be nice. <laughs> so before we get to the new venture, I'd like to close out some old business. What is the current status of the McRib? Is it back on the menu? Yes. Well, it is. As you know, it's only come. It only comes out during the fall. So we'll see if it comes back. I feel like it will be. Like yeah. McDonald's has been pretty great about it ever since like the campaign for it. Oh really? So we'll see. This you fall. know, uh, have you made any viral sandwich related videos since? Has that kind of just been? Um, well, are you uh, referencing the I think actual... there was, Yeah, I think there was a McRib follow-up, right? Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah. after the Santa Clarita um, City Council deal, uh -huh. we did a documentary. and um, But actually before that, we did a music video. I don't know why I'm saying we. It was just uh -huh. me. <laughs> I'm so used to like, saying It sounds like more we. of like an organization if yeah, you say we. Definitely yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. I, so, I actually made a pretty popular sauce video. Because mm. they hold the sauce hostage. They never give you more than one. It's like, Jesse, mm. dude, just give me just give me three sauces. Oh, I just so want barbecue get, sauce. So you get, like, extra sauce? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's super saucy. Dude. Yeah, right. It, like, it's going to affect McDonald's bottom line that they're going to give me three sauces instead of one. <laughs> anyway, we're not here to talk about my sauce woes. We're, talk, we're here to talk about Airmen, your new venture. What is it about? Talk me through Airmen. So Airmen is a web series about the peacetime operations of a group of Air Force troops. Mm -hmm. And it was loosely based on my experiences in the military. And so basically the goal of this series is to humanize the military, show what it's like to serve during peacetime operations because – I feel like a lot of Hollywood movies are always about war and PTSD. Yeah. And I want to add some diversity. You're humanizing. Yes. The experience. Mm -hmm. And as a vet yourself, you're telling me you served five years. I, I, I found that hard to believe. You have a very youthful look about you. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, you went right out of high school. Yes. <laughs> and are you done now? Are you out? Oh, yes. I'm fully out now, and I'm pursuing filmmaking. Awesome. So. Mm -hmm. uh, now, all the cast and crew, they're also veterans, right? Yes. Well, um, the lead cast are veterans, mm -hmm. and then some of them are also veterans. Uh -huh. But I knew I wanted the lead cast to be actual veterans because I wanted to add authenticity to the right. story. Because they understand the world. They can have their own experiences injected into it. So we're, we just started a campaign. I believe it was launched yesterday. And now I'm using we. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we, we just launched this campaign yesterday. Uh is there a script ready? Are we just looking for funds to pay the actors and pay for the equipment and everything? Oh, yes. So the funds are for production. Mm -hmm. Like All of the scripts have been wrote. We're just trying to shoot the entire first season. Like We had some um, concept video footage shot just to see what we're looking to do, which is in the pitch video. Right. But it's basically for production and making it become a reality. What is the goal? that we're looking to get to. Oh, 47,750 is the total. Awesome. And I think we're already partway there, right? We've raised a couple thousand in yeah, just a day. We're about uh, 5% right now. So Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> if you'd like to go support this, head on over to seedandspark.com. I believe you can just type in Airmen if you want the full link. We'll have that on hometownstation.com as well as on our YouTube. But the full link, I'll just give it to you right now, seedandspark.com slash fun slash airmen. Again, she's Xanthi Pajarillo, formerly the McRib Girl. Were you okay with that, the McRib Girl, being called the McRib <laughs> well, Girl? I do love the McRib, so yeah. I mean, if you want to call me that, that's fine. <laughs> she's back with a new hairdo and a new venture. It's Airmen. Are we looking to put this on YouTube or, or uh, 
Um, well, first, we're going to try to submit it to film festivals or mm -hmm. web festivals specifically because it's a web series. Yeah. And then we'll see about distribution. Is so. the move to create kind of this short web series and then hopefully get picked up by somebody bigger oh, that has, you know, all the funding and everything? That's totally always the dream. Yeah. Like, I'm going to take a... The steps to get there, though. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. How do you learn how to direct and how to shoot everything in the cinematography? Did you take classes for that, or is it kind of something you just get extinctually? It's a little bit of both. Like, mm -hmm. I'm the director and writer, so I don't – I'm not the cinematographer. However, it's – I've taken some classes, and it's also a lot of research, but the most uh, important way that I've learned is hands-on, definitely. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Again, seedandspark.com slash fun slash airmen. If you'd like to support uh, Xanthi, awesome name, by the way. Love Thank the name. Uh, we'll have the link on hometownstation.com. You can actually find it right now. If you go to hometownstation.com and just type in the uh, word airmen, I believe we had a story last week. I assume we'll have a story this week alongside this interview. You can find us on YouTube. And Xanthi, so, thank you so much for coming in, and uh, best of luck moving forward. Yeah, thank you so much for having me, and thank you to everyone who's listening and would like to support. I appreciate it so yeah, much. Yeah, of course. This is exciting. It's Airmen. Be on the look for it. It's a new web series that she's looking funding for. We're, we're almost – we're partly there. We're not almost there, <laughs> but we need your help. Again, seedandspark.com, and just type in the keyword Airmen. It's Xanthi Pajarillo. And thank you so much for coming in. And like I said, uh, best of luck. And I, I honestly hope you, you get to the goal. When do we need to get to the goal by, by the way? Let's see. So we have 29 days to reach the goal. Okay. Yes. Perfect. So get to it, seedandspark.com, and just type in airmen. Again, thanks, Anthony. And thank uh, you. yeah, of course, time is 4.30.